Hey guys, Tony here. Lionel Messi is going to win this year's Ballon d'Or. This video is about the winner of the 2019 Ballon d'Or. Lionel Messi is going to win the Ballon d'Or after he wins the World Cup, after he reaches the Champions League final with Barcelona against Bayern Munich. The 2019 Ballon d'Or is going to be Paulo de Bala of Juventus. To me, he's going to break the streak of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi winning 10 straight or 11 straight Ballon d'Ors. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, their streak of Ballon d'Ors would be at 11. Paulo Dybala also is going to be the 26th player to win the Ballon d'Or. There have been 26, 25 prior players who have won the Ballon d'Or award. It is Paulo and Dimitri that equals 25. Very interesting that Dybala can be the Ballon d'Or winner right before the 65th Champions League. Once again, his nickname is the Jewel, La Joya. La Joya and Dimitri equals 64. The 2019 Ballon d'Or winner would be the 64th Ballon d'Or award being handed out. It would be fitting if it is Paulo de Bala that carries Juventus to Champions League glory in 2018-2019. The rigged and scripted 2018-19 Champions League. The number 64 is key. It's about the great goalkeeper Buffon. It is about Juventus Football Club. Right, the final being held at España, at Spain, at Madrid. Ciudad de Madrid, the city of Madrid. Ciudad de Madrid in Demetrico 64. You can apply any language to the art of Demetria. 2019 Ballon d'Or winner has a lot of significance. Let me spell that correctly. I hope this answers your questions, my commentator. 2019 Ballon d'Or winner equals 144 in Gematria. I'm printing Paul de Bala to win the Ballon d'Or right after Lionel Messi wins his sixth Ballon d'Or. It's pretty interesting, though, that Paul de Bala, his birthday is on November the 15th. The amount of time between Lionel Messi's birthday and Paulo Dybala's birthday is going to be a time frame of 144 days. Lionel Messi's birthday on June the 24th. The amount of time between Paulo Dybala and Lionel Messi's birthdays are a time span of 144 days. And this is why I am predicting Paulo Dybala to be the 2019 Ballon d'Or winner. It all has to do with being from Argentina, being the next great Argentinian player, right after Lionel Messi. The next Champions League, the 64th Champions League, is going to be about Gialici Buffon and Paulo de Bala. He won't leave Juventus until they win a Champions League final. That is part of the script for what's to come. I already talked about the number 27, the 27th Champions League in 2018-2019. 2-7 in, in the Champions League final is Juventus. The last Juventus player to win the Ballon d'Or was Pavel Nedved. The great Czech player Pavel Nedved. His birthday is on August the 30th. And the reason why that is significant, it is because his birthday numerology in 2019 the year that Paulo de Bala wins the Ballon d'Or, his birthday numerology for 2019, Paul, Pavel Nedved, he has a birthday numerology of 23 in 2019. And in 2019, it is going to be Juventus that ends a 23-year Champions League title drought. Also, in the uh, in, uh, right before the 2003 Champions League final, Juventus won its 27th Serie A title. Remember, 
The 27th Champions League is when Juventus is going to end a 23-year Champions League drought. It's interesting that Nedved in Dimitri equals 27. The Ballon d'Or winner is going to be Dybala in the year of the 27th Champions League. Pavel Nedved was the last Juventus, uh, last Juventus offensive player to win a Ballon d'Or. Fabio Cannavaro, although he played with Juventus, he was with Real Madrid when Italy won the World Cup in 2006. Pavel Nedved was the last Juventus player to win the Ballon d'Or. It's pretty interesting, though, that he won the Ballon d'Or. He won the Ballon d'Or in 2003. Once again, a connection to the fact that Juventus is going to end a 23-year Champions League drought. 20 plus 3 equals 23. 16 years later, it's when Paulo de Bala is going to win the Ballon d'Or. It is all synchronized by the numbers. 16 equals 33. In 96, it is Freemason. That equals 96. And it is Juventus FC, the Freemasonic black and white colors, that are going to win. Uh, that equals 33 in Gematria. 16, a very significant number of the Freemasons. This is why Paulo Dybala is going to win the Ballon d'Or. 16 years after Pavel Nedved won the Ballon d'Or with Juventus in 2003. It is all part of the tribute. Paulo Dybala going to be the 7th Juventus player to win the Ballon d'Or. Is going to keep Juventus at 7 losses in the Champions League final. Number 10 leading Juventus to the Champions League title in its 10th Champions League final appearance. Lionel Messi, this year when Messi wins the Ballon d'Or, he's going to be the 6th. He's going to win the Ballon d'Or for the 6th time. When Paul de Bala wins the Ballon d'Or, he's going to be the second Argentinian player to win. And it would be the seventh time that a player from Argentina wins the Ballon d'Or. Because book it. Lionel Messi is going to win the Ballon d'Or this year after Argentina wins the World Cup. Paul de Bala is going to be a World Cup champion. Next year, Paul de Bala is going to win the Ballon d'Or. Another 27 connection for next year's 27th Champions League. Nedved equaling 27. You see where the tributes are coming. But I don't see Gigi Buffon winning the Ballon d'Or in 2019. When Juventus wins the Champions League, it is going to be Paul Dybala that's going to be the main guy for them. Pavel Nedved's birthday on August the 30th is going to be very significant. The Champions League final on the first day of June. We include the end day. It's 12 weeks and 7 days. A lot like Vatican City. Well, the amount of time from the Champions League final in 2019 to Nedved's birthday, I find it interesting that it's 13 weeks. Once again, 13 is a lucky number in Italy. The next final is going to feature an Italian team. The amount of time from Nedved's birthday, the day Bala's birthday, is going to be Another connection as well. Notice Paul de Bala's birthday. Paul de Bala's birthday is on November the 15th. That equals 26. It is Paulo that's going to be the 26th player to win the Ballon d'Or. Once again, in my view, I think Neymar is going to win the Ballon d'Or later, but it's not going to be until a couple seasons for Neymar. But I see this as the end of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo winning the Ballon d'Ors after this year when Lionel Messi wins. 2019, 19-20 is a possible year for uh, Ronaldo to win a Champions League, but I honestly have PSG as of now as my pick to win the 2020 Champions League final. But I just haven't done all of the research yet for that respectful final in 2020. So Paul Dybala, the 
2018 2019 Ballon d'Or winner, the Ballon d'Or winner for the 2019 season, the 64th edition of the Ballon d'Or being handed out. It's going to go to Paulo de Balba.